Hi guys. Well, in amongst all the procrastination. I've got plenty of little stuff to do. And, uh, ah, uh, sure do need it because it's, it's getting chilly and then it gets warm and it gets chilly and it gets warm. And today's a little windy, but thank goodness I've got the greenhouse. Let's see if I could share this with you. I just finished neem oiling everything because, check it out, little white spots there. I've got leaf miners on the beans, so I sprayed this whole place down with neem oil. But I need to stay out here for a few minutes just to make sure nothing's getting burned and I don't have any ugly little things that need to be caught in the action. So I decided to try to transplant some stuff. Oh, look at everything's in the way because this place is so small. I think that's better. I think that's better. Better? Can you see me now? All right. All right. Um, let's try a lavender. Is that a, uh, is it a bigger lavender? No, I think that lavender is probably good to go. I got the fan on full force because after neem oiling I have to try to dry this place out as much as possible. There we go. A little itty bitty divot in there. Let's see how much root this lavender has been able to give me so far. Yay! Baby root! Good lavender. You're so good. I love you. And for five bucks, everybody else can love her too. I've decided that uh, the price of lavender has to go up because the, the labor and care of getting lavender to the point where it's actually feasible to put it in the ground Man, so much work goes into getting it there, and I started really early with these babies, so they should be ready to go by the time, by the time spring gets here. How about a Yonimus? Yonimus. Uh, this one looks the healthiest. Right here, this one looks the healthiest. It doesn't have any new leaves on it, and this one looks really good. Actually, I think I'm going to try this one. This one doesn't have any of the uh, variegation. This variegation on here bodes awfully well. <clears throat> Remember, this is off the shrub in the front that for two years now, I battled an ongoing fungal problem and the neighbor even helped me by chopping that sucker back hardcore and it looks fabulous now so I took cuttings wow it must have some roots because it doesn't want to come out I'm a little hampered because my normal I've run out of wooden sticks so trying to get these out without damaging them is really difficult I should have kept one stick for doing this with. Ooh, well, let's take a look at the bottom. Oh yeah, I see some, I see some roots there, and I see some. Oh, I see a thing. Oh my goodness, you guys are, uh, you guys are ready to go, aren't you? Yonimus like to create a lot of roots down deep to anchor themselves so getting them out of pots is, ah, it's not it's not easy not easy 
Come on. Look, I don't want to hurt you, but I really, really want you to come out. Come on. It's your landing day. <gasps> yeah. Look. Look at all these beautiful roots, and they're all white, which means they're brand spanking new. I didn't fill up the pot. Baby's gonna have a new house. Yeah, here we go. The rooting hormone on these Yonimus works like a charm. I love it. Definitely gonna do that again. For rooting. There we go. And, and a baby lavender. I'm going to go out and give them some water and get the rest of these planted. And uh, just to be clear, I'm doing this as uh, procrastination because I owe myself almost 8,000 words today. Go me. Alrighty, here we go. I have. Three lavender and three Yanamas, Yanamai, Yanamai. Is that how you do it? I just need. Oh, there we go. That's better. Gotta make sure they all have in the water. Babies are looking wonderful. This was a good winter experiment. Worked nicely. Procrastinating? Me? I'm not procrastinating. You're procrastinating. Would you like to see some more farm fun? Check out Tom Pemberton on YouTube. Linky is down below. Okay, so another little winter experiment is to try to find yet another way to start seeds. And I started out with these. I first filled them up with, uh, with rehydrated sphagnum moss and that it sticks out the side, it drops out. Although the seeds grow quite well, it just became an issue. So I ground up the sphagnum moss and put it in. However, when I took the, when I took this off, unfortunately, um, unfortunately when I took the, the netting off, the ground uh, sphagnum just, fell out the sides because there was really nothing holding it. So the next part was to include a 10% paper content. And the thought is that um, inside the paper, all the, all the glues that are inside the paper will help hold it together. And that worked to a certain extent. However, when I took the screen off and began handling it after it was dry, it fell apart. So... This time, I moved up to 40% paper, ground paper content with the sphagnum moss, with the dried sphagnum moss. This is not peat moss. This is uh, sphagnum, the, the dried sphagnum moss that you'd use with uh, other types of uh, potted plants. I'm not sure this is going to come out easy. Let's see. Here we go. I think I can. There we go. If when I when it's in there, I can actually grab the side and pull it out. Now, granted, yes. If it falls apart, I still need something around it. But 
I do like it that when I unwrap it, oh, there we go. This feels really nice and firm. I like this a lot. Now what I do is I, I simply put it all in a food processor, the sphagnum moss, the ground, well first I grind up the sphagnum moss in a coffee grinder and then I put the sphagnum moss and the paper in a food processor and I process it all together and then I pour it, I put this, I put this into here and then I pour it with the water into here through a uh, through a, a tube and then I start pushing it down layer by layer by layer until it's all filled up and then I let it dry and that's what comes out now I could put this in there it might work but I have found that using a paper towel works much better and it's pretty easy to It does not have to be, doesn't have to be perfect. How about, right, like, this, just stay there. There we go. Yep. like that. Put it at the top. Fold this over. Push this up. And then fold it over uh, again. And now push it up. Now I have a little seed pod that cost me a lot less. Now I could easily attempt this with dried grass stalks, straw, um, any kind of, of waste, um, dried waste product, leaves, as long as it had that paper content to try to hold it together. I like using this because it's... Um, it's a lot easier to assess whether it's going to be a bacterial risk or not. And since I'm doing experimental things, I really kind of have to deal with that. But if I wasn't so concerned, I could use a whole lot of dried, a whole lot of organic dried material with the paper and just create these little plugs. And of course, I could create them with peat moss. If people don't have a problem with peat moss, you can create them with peat moss. Uh, I just like it this way. And now we're going to see how well this is going to germinate seeds. Alrighty. This is my germination station. You can see I've got a, a watertight container. And I've got a, a little... Uh, uh, little germination thing here to hold these this is the the just the ground sphagnum moss as you can see it's actually starting to uh, it's starting to come out the sides it's really swelling it's um, there are lots of little bits floating around in the water so it's obviously not the best, but I had to go through every single iteration in order to figure this out. So what I've done is I have, I've drilled a tiny little hole just about a quarter of an inch into these seed pods. Now, but obviously when it when when these little things hit the quote unquote market 
Um, I am not, it, nobody's gonna have to take tweezers to put their seeds in there. I'm trying to put as much control into this as possible so I know exactly why it is working or why it is not. Maybe not. Darn it. I need longer tweezers. I actually need tweezers that um, can grab the seed from the top. Ah! No! Come back! Did I? Oh, I think I lost it. I lost it. Darn it. Lettuce seeds are a really good experimental <laughs> seed, but they are really difficult to grab with tweezers. Let's see if I can just... There we go. Go on. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right in there in the hole. Should be okay. Now if I can just do another one. Oh, no, I lost it. Come on. Ah! Nope, oh, there it is. Come on. Come back. Come back. No, okay. behave. Lettuce seeds are meant to drift with the wind, so they are slightly flat. They have a pointy end, and they're very difficult to grab. And is it close enough? No. There. Got it. Got it. It's in there. I saw it go in. So now, put these two there and take my. Oh, I need more water. Okay. I take this to actually uh, to put water in the top. Once the whole thing is soaked, it will suck water in through the bottom. And you can see how easily this does suck up the water. I'm really glad, even with the 40% waste paper content, the water is moving through this like lightning. And it holds on to the water. This was dry, this was left in a net cup with these rocks just sitting in there with no extra water for 24 hours. And the greenhouse got up to 100 degrees at one point for about 15 minutes. It still didn't dry out. So the sphagnum moss has a superior water holding capacity. It holds on to water like, you know, water is its mom. And again, the ultimate, the ultimate end user won't have to go through this process, but I, I'm keeping track of how much water it takes, how long it takes to get these soaked. I'm hoping maybe I can actually create these as well for people who um, use arrow gardens. These cups right here are used in arrow gardens. So if I can create a much more user-friendly and cheaper alternative, that would be fantastic. I think it's actually gotten to its uh, water holding capacity. I still see a little 
a little space on the side, but these obviously will swell up inside the cup. I'm just going to make sure that there's plenty of water in there. I will come back in a couple hours, make sure that the tops of these have not dried out because the tops are obviously where the uh, obviously where the lettuce seeds are. Yep. It's swelling, but it's not falling apart, which is fantastic. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Now, if this is going to last through the next couple hours, I don't know. In a couple hours, I'll come out. I'll do a little rub test again, see if it's coming out. Um, it's not that difficult to put a paper towel around it, but I'd rather not have to use the paper towel if I don't have to.